Mary, Queen of Scots. Who was Mary, Queen of Scots? Mary was Queen of Scotland before she was forced to flee to England. She was the cousin of Queen Elizabeth of England. Many Catholics wanted Mary to be Queen of England rather than Elizabeth. This was because Elizabeth was Protestant and Mary was Catholic. Mary was born in December 1542. She was the only child of James V of Scotland and Mary of Guise. She became queen at six days old, with her mother making decisions for her until she was old enough. Mary was Catholic. Mary was sent to live in the French court. She was promised in marriage to the French Prince Francis. They married in 1558 and Francis became King of France in 1559. After just two years of marriage, Francis died in 1560. Mary was now a widow, aged 18, and returned to Scotland. In 1565, Mary married her cousin Lord Darnley. The relationship was not a good one, as Darnley was spoilt and used to getting his own way. Darnley was convinced that Mary was having an affair with her Italian secretary, David Rizzio. In March 1566, Darnley and a group of Protestant lords burst in on Mary and a group of friends having dinner. Mary was heavily pregnant. They dragged Rizzio into the next room and stabbed him 56 times. Mary's son, James, was born in June 1566. In February 1567, there was an explosion at the house Darnley was staying at near Edinburgh. His body was found outside the house. Some people believed that he had escaped the explosion and been killed later. Mary was suspected of arranging the death. Just three months after Darnley's death, Mary married the Earl of Bothwell. This turned the Scottish lords against her and she was forced to give up her throne in July 1567. She was imprisoned in Loch Leven Castle. Her baby son James was made King of Scotland. He would be raised Protestant. Mary fled to England in 1568 as she hoped her cousin Queen Elizabeth would shelter her. Elizabeth was suspicious of her as there were rumours that some Catholics wanted Mary to be Queen of England. She locked Mary up for 19 years. In 1586, Mary wrote letters to Sir Anthony Babington, who was plotting to get rid of Elizabeth and replace her with Mary. Elizabeth heard about the plot and had Mary tried and sentenced to death. Mary was executed at Fotheringhay Castle on the 8th of February 1587. She was 44 years old. Her son, James VI of Scotland, would go on to be the next King of England after Elizabeth died. When Mary fled to England, she gave Elizabeth a big problem. Mary was a threat to her throne, but what could she do? she could send her back to scotland but having a country with a catholic queen so close could be a problem also the scots might kill her she could send her to france the problem with this was that france might attack and try to put mary on the throne she could execute mary the problem with this was that mary had been asking other countries for help they might not be too pleased also she was family or she could let her stay but the Catholics within England uh, might try and make Mary Queen. Elizabeth didn't know what to do. The Babington Plot Elizabeth could not bring herself to harm Mary, so Sir Francis Walsingham set up a trap for her. A young Catholic named Anthony Babington was persuaded to pass secret messages from Mary to another man. This man was one of Walsingham's spies. The messages said that Mary, Queen of Scots, was plotting to overthrow Elizabeth so that she could become Queen. The messages were written in code so no one else could read them. When this trap was sprung, there was enough proof to find both Babington and Mary, Queen of Scots, guilty of treason. Mary was tried in October 1586 at Fotheringhay Castle. It took Elizabeth until Febu February 1887 before she was persuaded to sign her death warrant. The execution took place on the 8th of February at Fotheringhay.